Hi my dears, it's Finnevar here and this is Finnevar 101, so the product information and fun techniques. And today's topic is the glitter. First fun thing you can do with your glitter is making some glitter pebbles. Uh, what you need is a transparent adhesive and my recommendation is a gilding glue, the product you use for the metallic flake, because after drying it stays tacky, it's completely clear, so it helps you really to get the glitter in the right place and keep it there. I pick the right size of the pebbles and I cover them all with my uh, gilding glue. I let it dry so it gets transparent and then I make my glitter mixture according to my personal needs. Gilding glue is uh, tacky so now I can put my pebbles into the glitter and pick up as much as possible so my pebbles turn into beautiful glittery embellishments I can use later on my projects. This technique is super easy but really fun and it's perfect for using up the leftovers of the glitter you may have somewhere on your table after other projects. Next fun and very useful techniques is making your own glitter paste, which is like the safest way to apply glitter on your project and keep it there because it's completely permanent. To make your glitter paste you need of course leftovers of glitter or selection of your favorite colors of glitter and then transparent gel medium. So for example 3D gloss gel which is going to be the best transparency and glossy effect. Now, your job is to prepare the mixture of the beautiful glitters you'd like to have in your paste and then mixing that into the portion of the 3D gloss gel. The gel is going to dry completely transparent, so what you see after the application is just the glitter itself sitting firmly on your surface. If you have too much of the product, you can always keep it for later in a tight uh, jar because it stays good as long as the gel is wet. Once the paste is ready, you can apply it using stencils or just simply brush it on your surface for the beautiful glittery effects. And once you have it dried, it's completely permanent. Now having the pebbles and the background ready, I think it's nice to put together a little project. So I pick some elements and I put a coat of the white gesso on the top of them. My glitter paste is dry, so I can stick elements on. And for this purpose, you can use the same 3D gloss gel we used for the glitter paste. I put quite a generous amount of the gel medium and then I stick my elements on. It's better to put more of the gel and then pick up the leftovers with the wet brush than try to be too clean because it's very uneven surface. I stick all the elements, including the moth I made in my uh, Finover mold and I support it with a bit of cardboard. Then, together with the other embellishments, I can apply my glitter pebbles. They're going to be beautiful elements catching the light and attracting attention. Everything is glued with the 3D gloss gel and it is dried with the heat gun until it's completely staying in place. Now we can work on painting it. For my project, I picked two Art Alchemy metallic paints in beautiful colors. One is green, and this is jade stone, and the second is going to be French lavender, which is, of course, a shade of violet. I start with my jade color and I add quite a generous amount of the paint, but not very evenly, and making it wet with the water to let it flow. Now it's time for the French lavender and I repeat similar step while the previous paint is still half dry. So in some parts, uh, green and violet are going to mix. It's going to be really interesting effect, almost like watercolors, but with acrylics. I 
I spray the water to help the colors flow and I dry everything with the heat gun so I can go to next layers of the paint. I add a little bit more of the green to make color more saturated and I add a little bit more of the purple in the missing parts and if needed I can spray a little bit extra of water again. I dry my paints and then it is time for a little bit of the contrast and vintage touches. For this purpose I picked Art Alchemy liquid acrylic paint and the color I absolutely love is Burnt Sienna. This is beautiful transparent shade of brown. And now I use it on the top of my project to add extra shadows and a bit of antiquing effect. Just as before I apply quite a lot of water as well to make it flow. I dry all of my paints again and then using leftovers of my glitter paste I add a little bit of this glittery sparkle on the wings of my moth just to make it more pretty. The very last touch is a little bit of the white metallic highlight and for this purpose you can use either white uh, metallic acrylic paint or what I did, it uh, may be also metallic wax. I just rubbed it with my finger on the tops of the embellishments to get a little bit of the whiter tone. Just a little bit of the brown splatters on the top and my mini canvas is ready. I hope you got inspired to use the glitter in your projects and you're going to have plenty of ideas. Thank you!